Hey there, it's Scott from HVAC Technician Sales Secrets, and this is video number one, and I wanted to start here for a reason. It's super important for you to understand what you're up against as a technician. Now, I've been in the heating and air business since 2001. I've been a salesperson, I've been an installer, I've been a technician, I've been a sales manager, I've worked on a management team, I've also been a corporate trainer. So when I say I've had a lot of roles and a lot of things that I've done inside of the heating and air world, I've done just about everything. And so the reason that we're starting here is super important. This is a Godzilla conversation. So I've got my Rem Spooner Godzilla Aloha shirt on for this very reason, that this is one of the most important conversations that I could have with a technician, with a selling tech, or with a salesperson, is today, today I want you to decide what you stand for, who you stand for, why you stand for, how you stand for it, because this conversation is one that's really lacking in the industry. It's one that's that's uh, it's really easy to go and hey, like let's go get some sales training. Let's sit down with a with a coach. Let's sit down with a trainer. Let's sit down with a manager. But in this industry, a lot of things that you deal with have, deal with trust. Trust. So there's not just trust for the consumer to you. There's also trust in yourself. And I want to give you a couple of caveats or a couple of dangers and a couple of warnings while we go through this process. Now. There's going to be a time that you're sitting at an air conditioner, at a heat pump, a furnace, an air handler, uh, next to a boiler, and you're like, all right, I know the office wants me to set leads or sales leads. I know that um, there's cool things that I want in life. I want a boat. I want a house. I want a car. I want to go on a trip. I want to buy my significant other really cool things. I want to get things for my kids. I want to put money in retirement. But there's a, a factor. There's a thing that you have to do, and that's remember, put the consumer first. That's your client. That's the person who needs to trust you. So the, the first and foremost is to always do the right thing. Always do the right thing. Now, like this sounds like a, a basic conversation, but I have been through some training in my lifetime in the industry where the focus is on setting leads, which is fine. The focus is on closing deals, which is fine. But the first hurdle that you really need to pay attention to and the first hurdle that really is going to help you have longevity in the industry is doing the right thing. Now, here's a caveat. It is not your job to be the police officer. So you have your morals and you have your beliefs, you have your strategies, you have your tactics, you have your sales process. And where I see salespeople, technicians, business owners go down the path of, of eating some poison, having some poison, taking some poison in, is deciding that they're going to be the police, that they're going to be the person that says, these are all the things that that guy, that guy, that girl, that girl, that guy are doing wrong. And what will happen is uh, you think that you're helping the consumer. You think that you're going out there and you're doing everything you can. But what happens is it turns against you. Like, is it the right thing? Hey, always do the right thing for the consumer. Always take care of the people that you meet with. But what will happen is it will consume you. So for a long time, I'm going to say this happened to me. For a long time, there was a forum that I was a part of, and I focused like on all the negative things in the industry. And I wasn't getting along with clients. I wasn't repairing systems. I wasn't selling parts. I wasn't getting leads. It was because of internal poison. And so you're like, hey, Scott, that's all good for you, but what about me? Like, Remember, I have been a installer. I've been a technician. I've been a salesperson. I've been in management, and I've been a corporate trainer. So I've met with every type of person you can imagine inside of this industry. And the people who struggle the most are the ones that go down the path of saying, I have to be the police for the industry. I have to be the person who says, this person is immoral, this person's unethical. Does it happen? Absolutely. But if you get too consumed by it, it's going to be a problem. You're like, hey, Scott, why are you telling me this? This is the first video. One, one, one. Always do the right thing for the consumer. Don't make anything up. Don't lie. You don't have to. There's so much money to be made in heating and air. I, I promise you. Whether it's uh, memberships, partner plans, whatever you want to call them, whether it's parts and pieces, whether it's ductwork or insulation, whether it's complete systems, whether it's home performance, there's so much money to be made by doing the right thing. You don't have to do the wrong thing. Okay? So let's pause for a second. <laughs> if you want to be up to date on everything that I do, you should go to HVAC, HVACTechSecrets.com. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to sign up for my weekly email newsletter and give you the link to the Facebook group. So it's HVACTechSecrets.com. It's a redirect. So it's going to send you to a sign up page that says, 
Put in your best name, put in your email address, put in your phone number. I'm not gonna spam you. I'm not gonna sell off your information. You're gonna get messages from me. You're gonna put together a bill of trust for the homeowners that you meet with, which says these are the things that I'm willing to do and these are the things that I'm not willing to do. And make your list, make that list. Now, on the other end, you have some homework too because there's things that go sideways when you're inside of a home, you're inside of an office building, you're meeting with your buyers. And I want you to think about something that if you are at a home or at a residence or at an apartment or at a condo, at a business, you're literally dealing with somebody who's having a bad day, okay? That their air conditioner is broke, their furnace is broke, their heat pump isn't working, and their bad day sometimes gets taken out on you. And so it may take you five or 10 minutes of conversation, rapport building to get that person to turn around. And so, there are people who are toxic to you that absolutely you should not do business with. Now, I'm gonna give you my list of things that I said, hey, these are the things that I'm not willing to put up with. And my list isn't your list, but you could take mine and adapt it and say, hey, I really like what that Scott Silvermill guy has to say. I, I think I'm gonna go down the path of doing a lot of these and I'm gonna adopt them. So one, anytime that anybody threatened me, physical violence, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm out. So I can think of a couple of times where it was really cold outside or really hot outside and tempers were flaring and people were upset. They were fighting with their significant other and they thought it was a good idea to say, hey, look, I'm gonna take all this out on my heating and air tech or I'm gonna take this all out on my salesperson. The minute that somebody gives me a physical threat, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to leave, right? Because there's some stuff. Within that, there's times where people are frustrated and they say things. So remember, even angry people are gonna buy. The reason I bring this up is like sometimes people are just mad. They're like, I don't want to pay $300 for a capacitor or whatever they cost where you're at. I don't want to pay $500 for a fan motor or whatever they cost wherever you're at. I'm in California. Everything's a little bit more expensive. You may go, hey, we do capacitors for 400. Okay, whatever. But like, you know, there's going to be times where people freak out. So physical abuse, mental abuse, or even like I've had people try to steal my freaking tools. In my tool bag, right? Got my Klein tools, got my, my field piece meter, got like all the stuff that goes in there. And I've had people go, hey, like, you know, this nut driver, this looks pretty cool. And they kind of walk away with it. Like, hey, that like, quarter inch nut driver, that's mine. Or that five sixteenths nut driver, that's mine. Or that drill, that's mine. You know, so like there's times where homeowners like, hey, can you put this, mount this thing on my wall for me? Like you decide what your boundaries are and what's acceptable for you and what's not acceptable. So you've got on one hand, you've got your consumer bill of rights. And then on the second, on your hand, over here on the left, you've got your bill of rights. And there's going to be a point where they converge and you're like, okay, this makes a lot of sense. So let's just recap. One, put together a bill of rights of what you're willing, of what you are willing to do for your homeowners, what you're willing to do for your consumers. The, uh, the stand that you're going to take on ethics. But remember, remember this. It's really easy to get poisoned and try to be the police of the industry I have ridden with salespeople who've done this. I've ridden with technicians who've done this, and I've done this myself. I'm gonna promise you, nothing good comes from it, okay? So I'm gonna give you some of my phraseology. Someone says, hey, what do you think of XYZ company? And say, hey, look, you know what? I really like where I work for. You know, if that company was super good, I'd probably work for them, but like, this is the place that I chose. Like how you address concerns with people really matter. There was a really, really bad company in town here in Sacramento, I'm gonna leave their name out, but people would ask me, hey, you know what, I had XYZ company come out to come take a look at my air conditioner, come take a look at my furnace, what do you think of them? Like, hey, look, I don't talk trash on people when they're not here to defend themselves, but let's just put it this way, I'm glad that you called me. That's about as far as I go of saying anything about any other company, any other competitor, because what ends up happening is it makes the conversation really uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. So like, let's, Bring this back and focus on you and your home. Let's bring this back and focus on you and your office. I'm happy that I'm here to take care of the problem for you today. Here's all the reasons why I like working here. Everything's guaranteed. I work for a good owner. Uh, my manager really takes care of us and allows us to do what needs to be done. I'm not held back that I have to get 27 calls done in a day. Whatever reason, I'm like, I'm giving you a couple of different reasons. Your bill of rights for your consumer is super important. This is why I started video number one. Remember, it's a Godzilla conversation. This is something that's really lacking in the industry. So if somebody comes to me and is like, hey, Scott, you're using sales strategies and sales tactics. I'm like, yeah, because I'm a salesperson and I train salespeople, 
right? There's nothing wrong with that. That's different ways to have conversations. Like you can get mad at a basketball coach for teaching somebody how to play basketball. You can get mad at a swimming coach for someone to, to swim. You can get mad at a singing coach to teach somebody how to sing. So like, just something to think about. Like, there's gonna be a job for everybody in the industry. Does it take training? Absolutely. Have I done a lot of it? You bet. So from here, what you should do is subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna put out a ton of content. I'm gonna put out a ton of videos. And then you should also go to HVACtechSecrets.com. There's gonna be a link in the description and sign up for the email newsletter, okay? Super important, you sign up for that. It's gonna be a name, an email address, and a phone number. Just wanna let you know that I appreciate you and I will see you soon.